coin change problem is one of the most uh, popular problems that we have in algorithm design so there are several uh, strategies available to solve this problem and one of the most uh, famous strategy is uh, greedy method so greedy method can be used for coin change uh, problem so before that you have to understand what is coin change uh, uh, problem is what is the problem statement so problem statement says that the coin change problem is a classic algorithmic problem by showing the following minimum number of coins needed to make change for a given amount so let's say we have uh, coins of you know um, one five target amount so these are the denom denominations so denomination is like what is called denominations like in india we have uh, 20 rupees 20 rupees coins and 10 rupee coins are the highest denomination coins available in india okay so these are the coins given in case of coin change problem and you will be asked to uh, choose the coins minimum number of coins that is important choosing the minimum number of coins so that the target amount will be met so the target amount let's say is uh, you know 30 something like that okay so what you can do you can choose you can you can obviously choose coin 130 times this is this is one of the possibility and then you can also choose uh, coin 5 uh, no uh, six times coin five to six times like that you can do various way but that is not the intention intention is to get the minimum number of coins and also in this problem we are we are supposing that the um, supply of coin is unlimited so there is no uh, concern on the supply of com uh, coins that means the supply of coins are unli unlimited coins we have like if you want if you want coin one rupees one coin one i mean rupees one unlimited times that is possible so that supply is there so what if the question is that if you have to you have to get the minimum number of coin minimum number of coin minimum number of coins uh, so that your target amount will be matched that means the change will be matched so what you can do so various combinations you can have but at the end you have to get the minimum one obviously then you will be trying you can you can try how can you meet uh, 30 so you can take coin five six times right one two three four five six this is also this is also uh, this also will that uh, amount amounted to 30 rupees 30 here if you take one 30 times that also will be having but in that case you will be needing 30 30 uh, one rupee coin so in this case you will be needing six five rupee coins so like that the number will increase right but the question says that you will be needing minimum number of coins so also you can take that uh, you can take 30 and 10 10 10 3 10 rupee coins you can also take like that things will happen and you can also can have the combinations of both combination of both so so wise way of handling the, this method is using greedy method kind of a brute force type of strategy which will what we'll do we'll try to accommodate first with the maximum number of uh, coin that is available so maximum value coin let's say here 25 rupees coins are available let's say so we'll try to accommodate from the maximum uh, valued coin to the minimum valued coin so if you take 25 then after that 25 so you have 30 that is your target thing and this is your coin so 25 if you pick if you pick 25 from here so 30 out of 30 25 will be gone that means 30 minus 25 rupees 5 will be remaining so once you pick 25 and then if you pick 5 so 25 and 5 so you will be needing two coins here right you will be needing two coins so that is one of the wisest way of doing it because you will be needing two coins otherwise any other combinations if you choose from here let's say if you choose uh, 10 three times this also a possibility but then you will be needing three coins there is no other way that you can manage rupees 30 change 30 rupee change with uh, less than two coins so only it is possible only only it is possible if you have rupees 25 and 5 because 25 plus 5 is 30 so this is the minimum number of coins we need. that means we need a 5 rupee coins and we need a 25 rupee coins so this is called coins change method using greedy method so for actually what you have to do we have to 
first so let us go to the so here you can see that so what is the application for this application is like everyday situations such as making change at a cash register or designing efficient algorithms for automated tailor machines ATMs so here you have the things so here one example like you can see coin change all the finding the minimum number of coins needed to make the change for the given target amount so let's say these are the coins that are that are available with you infinite number of supplies are there in this problem state infinite number of supplies are there okay and output will be uh, the minimum number of coins required to make it uh, for a given amount so let's say here you have five, uh, one five ten twenty five these are the four coins uh, and then unlimited supply is there so you need 30 so obviously we will be needing two coins just now I have shown so two coins uh, just now I have shown so two coins means which are the coins you will be needing so you can have coin one coin one 30 times so there, that means you need 30 coins if you if you take five six times you have to take six times you have to take so six five rupee coins also can do the job or maybe three ten rupee coins also can do the job which will which will be totaling to 30 but if you take 25 rupees coin one time plus if you take five rupee coins because 25 so 30 once you pick 25 from 30 uh, that means five rupee will be remaining so five rupee cannot be accommodated with 10 or one one you can do but one 10 one rupee notes you have to take 10 one, one rupee coins you have to take so finally 5 plus 25 5 plus 25 that means two coins are enough two coins are enough to accommodate 30 okay in in, in their case it is two cents two cents 25 cents and five cents which will be totaling to 30 cents so whichever way you say okay so this is the case so now if you see so now if you see the uh, if you see the algorithm so in this algorithm uh, you will see the algorithm here uh, in this algorithm you can find that what you have to do we have to first we have to uh, we have to first sort the we have to first sort the coins so whichever coins are available so that has to be sorted in descending order okay that has to be sorted in descending order descending order sorting is required uh, once you do that then the maximum value coin will be at the first position so in this case 25 then 10 then 5 then 1 according to the uh, the coins that are given here right here 25 here it is 20 25 this is how it will happen and then once you sort it then it is very easy then target amount is 30 so first we will choose 25 so 25 is subtracted from 30 so 5 will be remaining so 30 minus uh, so here you can see that um, this one this uh, this is this is the sorting is happening here in this algorithm A. any type of sorting algorithm you can use but i'll tell you which sorting, sorting algorithm will be beneficial after the sorting total coins is zero this is the target amount which is 30 iterate to the sorted coin denominations so denominations is these are the denominations of the coin and then uh, number of coins are here four coins are there so here total coins total coins equal to number of coins plus total coins and then uh, remaining amount remaining amount is uh, you know uh, remaining amount minus number of coins into coin okay so here like that things so first it is 30 then first it is 30 then once you pick 25 then 5 will be remaining then finally we'll be picking 5 so 25 and 5 two coins we are picking here this is the minimum number of coins okay now the algorithm for this is the, the time complexity of this algorithm is very easy you can see that here you can uh, either use uh, any type of sorting algorithm but it is wise to use a quick sort algorithm because quick sort algorithm takes n log n time so sorting can be done in n log n time and after sorting iteration through coin denomination that can happen on the uh, number of coins that means uh, n time okay o n time so total uh, is n log n time n log n time so vending machine is is one of the applications then dynamic resource management in cloud computing okay and algorithmic trading these are the all these are these are all the application areas and then uh, so the application highlights the versatility of the coin change problem 
in addressing challenges related to the resource allocation, optimization, and efficiency in various domains. Here is the C code of greedy coin change, and the first part of this function is nothing but the sorting that we can do. Although I have used here bubble sort, you can use here quick sort to make the time complexity somewhat better. Okay, so just now I showed how quick sort is will be useful because quick sort in log n time. This sorting algorithm is just that sorting the coins, the denominations of the coins in descending order. That means the highest value coins will be uh, in the first place. Like that in descending order it will sort. And under unless these uh, coins are you just picking the coins and then the total amount will be reducing uh, by uh, from the target amount. So that will be like rest, um, rest of the amount will be rest, rest of the amount will be rest on minus coins, the coins that you are picking from the list. So like that if you have and then finally rest of the amount uh, is become uh, zero when no more further coin to be chosen then you can print. Okay and if the possibility is if the coins are such that the total combinations are not uh, totaling to the target amount then it will result to the uh, result it will be printing that uh, that 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 uh, exact change is not possible the coin change is not possible okay so let's run this so this this algorithm can be uh, so here you can see the 64 64 is the target uh, amount and 25 25 10 1 1 1 1 like that it has been chosen that means 1 2 3 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 coins have been picked as you know that unlimited amount of coins supply is available in these questions that is what the problem statement that we believed in okay so this is coin change using greedy method so i hope you understood this thank you